Well, that's pretty good. I wonder how much is being lifted there. Hmm. How can we tell? Is that a valid lift to determine the strength of the loader? This gives us a nice visual of how strong a residential loader can be. Let's think it through though. The loader being lifted weighs about 700 pounds. Since more than half of the loader was lifted, that must mean, of course, that 400, maybe 450 pounds was picked up. Sorry, not true. A better test is needed. Keep watching. Now here we have the same loader is connected by chain to the rear of this vehicle. I'm going to use the trailer receiver and hitch to uh, connect and to use this vehicle sort of as a dead weight to pick up. Before we had the front axle of the loader that was being lifted, it was acting as a pivot point. We don't have that. We've taken that out of the equation. So here we have a scale that is hooked up, turn it on here, and getting it zeroed out. Good, we're good to go. And I'm getting a camera adjusted here a little bit so you can see, but I realize that I'm a little bit close. I'm in that danger zone. If something goes wrong, my camera's gonna get destroyed. So I'm gonna back off here. start lifting here 40 pounds 124 pounds 210 pounds I'm gonna take a look whenever I stop I'm looking to make sure everything's okay so that's what the little pause is for we'll go back to lifting again 250 to 90 Looking again, 300, 350, 362, 362 pounds lifted, and uh, uh, this is on a hydraulic loader. Now why is this a better test? Because the first test with the loader lifting the other loader is deceiving. Actually, the loader lifting the other loader only lifted a little over 200 pounds. The front axle of the loader being lifted acts as a pivot or fulcrum. The weight of the bucket, the loader arms, actuators, the tractor parts in front of the axle are all working as a lever helping to lift the load. That's only 200 pounds was lifted by that other tractor. A more accurate test would mean removing as much outside influence as possible, removing that lever, having a more of a deadlift, and using a scale to measure the results. Now, why is this important? If you intend on building and using your own residential loader, you need a good understanding of the forces at play. Many of you know this, but many do not. Here's the test again. So here I want you to take note, I'm never on the seat, so that's ballast lost. There's about 120 pounds under that tent of ballast that's always there, and I added that ballast underneath in order to compensate for me not sitting on the seat. There's about 200 pounds there, so about 320 pounds of total ballast is on this tractor. Interesting that we're picking up about 360 pounds. Think there's a correlation there? Let's do this test again. See what numbers we come up again with again. 70, 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 250, 
almost 290 gonna check it make sure everything's okay Three hundred, three thirty, three fifty, three hundred and fifty-eight and a half pounds that time. Three sixty-two before, three hundred fifty-eight, pretty close to one another. Let's just round it off to three hundred and fifty pounds is what I can get out of a, a lift on this uh, particular tractor. Now, if we keep in mind that a residential loader is built on a riding mower platform then we are mindful that there are structural limitations that limit what we can expect in regards to performance. Now the loader in this video is hydraulic. It has tons of strength. It could literally tear that loader apart. However, the loader does have uh, limits itself, the steel in the loader. The tractor has limits. The amount of ballast it can carry is limited. Therefore, there are limitations as to what we should expect in lifting ability. While this loader can lift more than 350 pounds, should we endeavor to put it to those limits? I propose that 200 pounds is a reasonable limit to set for a properly designed, built, ballasted, and tested residential loader. At times, a loader operator may stretch that to say, let's 250 pounds will lift. But if we push the limits, someone is going to get hurt. Please don't fall for the hype of videos where they're lifting ridiculous amounts of weight. If this was inspiring to you, please click the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.